The Dallas Arboretum is one of the many places here in North Texas hosting a watch party for Monday's total solar eclipse. It's also hosting a space expo over the weekend to provide some fun and education leading up to the eclipse. Fox Sports' Davidson Tendry is there tonight with details and some advice for watching the eclipse. David. Yeah, NASA is going to have astronauts and scientists in town this weekend and for the eclipse. And just like everyone else, they are hoping to escape that potential cloud cover. More than 7,000 people will fill the Dallas Arboretum for the solar eclipse Monday afternoon, including members of NASA hosting a live broadcast. Dallas is right near the middle of the path, so the totality right here will last almost four minutes, which is great. And Texas, on average, has pretty clear skies in April compared to other places along the path, so we're really hopeful that we'll get a clear view of the eclipse. Still, cloud cover is in the forecast, so we're asking NASA scientists what to expect if there's coverage and how useful are your eclipse glasses? Yeah, if it's too cloudy for you to see the sun, then unfortunately the eclipse glasses won't help. So if it is cloudy, they won't help you, you know, focus your picture of the eclipse or anything like that. If clouds are high and thin enough to see the sun, however, you'll need those eclipse glasses when looking up. So you are not only getting a really once in a lifetime celestial event experience, you are getting some of the most world renowned scientists in the country here in the Dallas Arbor freedom as well as a beautiful landscape. NASA scientists will lead educational opportunities for people at the Arboretum this weekend and through Monday. During the eclipse, it's not just the people who will take notice. It's the animals and plants. What will happen is plants will actually quit photosynthesizing. Plants should return to normal, however, after those four minutes. For now, people are hoping for clear skies. If that's not the case, NASA says there's some science which shows the eclipse could clear a path. Eclipses actually can have an effect on the clouds, so depending on the type of clouds and the level they're at, sometimes the temperature difference created by the eclipse can clear some of those clouds out. And while NASA is staking Dallas as a watch spot, it has teams Teams in many areas collecting data to better understand the sun. So we have instruments on planes, we have instruments on rockets, and we have instruments on the ground that will be studying the corona and Earth's atmosphere to understand what goes on in that region and how the sun is active and how it affects Earth. Now, unfortunately, Monday's eclipse event here at the Arboretum is sold out, but they still have tickets available for everything that's going on this weekend. Also want to point out that NASA will also be over at the Cotton Bowl if you're looking for something to do on Monday. Those tickets are free and they're still available. They say you're supposed to be getting them online.